three of our resolutionary um, top five. That's the title, resolutionary top five. Which direction, so the way, moving away from politics. So we're finally moving away from politics. Now we're transitioning. Which direction, what do you want to accomplish with this podcast? Um, first of all, I want it to be a podcast. Uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> uh, right now, we're still a YouTube show. Um, uh, th there's a lot of stuff I am trying to learn on RSS feeds and so we can get on the Google podcast feed and Apple podcast and all that stuff. So that's um, one of, uh, that is the biggest goal for me with this show. Um, also, I want to to increase our subscribership tenfold. Um, right now, I think we only have like 56 subscribers. Actually, yeah. we have 58. Shout out to my people on Twitter who um, left oh, this month. Oh. Yes, I asked her and she did. So I appreciate you guys. Hopefully, uh, get to send me some reviews. Send us some reviews. Let us know what yeah. you think. Of Actually, that's Zeus is completely correct. We want to know what you guys think. You know, what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. You know, um, even if you don't agree with uh, our political stance or our ideals in regards to what we say, let me. Uh, Zeno's dad gave me a review that I, I look up too much, so I started looking at the <laughs> camera more often. Uh, so, you know, hey, uh, yeah, just give us some reviews. And if if you can, just get people to subscribe. <laughs> go to, yeah. go to, do what I do. I get my family members and say, like, hey, you don't have to listen, but subscribe. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> and I wear the headset because our first episode was terrible as Horrible. far as like, the audio um, was concerned. So now I don't even. I don't even risk it. I just wear the, the headset. All right. So uh, for me, um, one, we've already uh, shot episode one of this. Uh, I want to do, a, we, we, we created a, we wanted to do this fun playlist because even though this has nothing to do with, today it had nothing to do with, um, with pop culture, entertainment. Mm -hmm. entertainment. Uh, one thing that me and him wanted to do, um, I remember I came up with this idea and he, he liked it and I loved it. And, well, he loved it. So <laughs> if you want to do what we call the MCU playlist, we just deep dive into the MCU. That's just something that we all need a break from a lot of the stuff that we have, right? Entertainment brings us that. Sports brings us that. That's why we're still including sports in today's episode. We just want to have those breaks from, I would guess, reality, if you want to call it. From like the that, heavy right? stuff. Yeah, and then something fun, and then you know, so we deep dived into Iron Man. We already did that one. That one's coming out. Yeah, I Zeno's think gonna work on... we'll put the playlist up when we finish Phase One. Um, so then, when we finish recording all the videos for Phase One, I'll start like trickling out the videos for the playlist. Um, but yeah, right now, I, I mean, like you said, we've recorded the first one, um, chopping it up. I want to make it as good as possible for you guys. Um, so grade yeah. A quality. Grade A. I'm, so I'm not, not actually, on the curve either. <laughs> so that's another thing that I want to do is I want to help out Zeno, man. I don't know any of the technology part. So if I learn how to press record on this, I would consider that accomplishment. So we do that. And then <laughs> also we did uh, we did our uh, ZZ feats, right? Uh, you did three ZZ feats last year. I want us to do a few more. I definitely want to do some on my own. Um, some with you, you know, with you, we have some special episodes that we want to do um, with some uh, some other podcasters, um, whether they're sports related only, political related only, you know, entertainment related only. Just just do have a lot of fun with this, man, and just provide you guys with an outlet, you know. So that's one of my biggest. I, biggest I would things. really love to do a, a touch uh, football thing with those guys over the radio show, like just before the Super Bowl. It can be so they can see how so the, the American people can see how out of shape we're. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it could be, you know, um, team ZZ Talk versus team I'm going to tell you guys Z. right now. I have a feeling Zeno is going to do a fantasy football podcast or at least a fantasy football, a uh, few fantasy Section. football episodes with, with Easy, who is, uh, again, he's on the radio show. I just have a feeling you guys are going to do that. It won't be me and M16 because we don't care about fantasy football. <laughs> Which leads to one of my, my number four. Right, which actually should be my number five because then we can go straight to sports, but I already said it, so I'm not going to ruin the transition. My number four thing is what direction? So as you guys all know, in regards to sports, me and him are very much Georgia-related, and especially right now, it's the Falcons. Um, Hawks are doing pretty damn good, which um, is something... Uh, well, now they're 500. They were three. Now they're... Yeah, right. Three, three. They started losing. They went on a little bit of losing streak. But 
It's, what? A, it's, a, it's a very condensed season, so they're like playing like back to back to back, so that's affecting. But sorry, go on. Well, no, I guess you know what I was going to make it Falcons uh, specific, but you know what? Never, never mind. What big thing do you want to see in the sports world, right? What big thing do you want to see in the sports world? Whether it's your, uh, you know, the 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 hockey that you like in um, Europe, I think call it soccer or something like that. Whether it's that, whether it's Falcons football, whether it's uh, football in general, whether it's basketball, baseball, whatever. Man, what do you want to do? What do you want? So to do? I've actually been very. Um... I haven't been paying attention to the to soccer Premier League as much as I would in normal years. And I'll tell Is MLS friend, still going? MLS? No. Yeah. no, no. MLS starts again in March. Who won? Uh, Columbus. Damn. Columbus. Okay. Columbus. Yeah, Columbus Crew. Uh, See, that's crazy. I think this COVID just affected it so much that a lot of people mm-hmm. got out of it because I got. I really was into it the last two years, and then I just got out of it. Same thing. When COVID hit, I just pretty much stopped watching. Um, So, uh, but Columbus Crew won, which is funny because they were about to be disbanded a few years ago because they didn't have the the, 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 the franchise wanted to move to Austin, and then the fans like really rallied to save the franchise, and now they've won an MLS Cup. So, small little victory for them. no, it's not a small victory. It's a big victory. Um, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the Premier League, I haven't been paying as much attention to it. And I was telling my friend, I think part of it is that there was no break. Because usually what happens is the Premier League runs from August to uh, May. And then you have three months of the summer. And in the summer, you have all these international competitions. 2020 was supposed to be the Euro uh, 20, right? Um, where European countries play against each other in this like tournament. Like, World Cup style tournament, but just with European countries. Um, so you have that summer tournament and also the Olympics in Korea was supposed to happen. So you'd have the soccer tournament in there. And then you get back to the season and you get back to seeing your clubs that you haven't seen in three months and all that stuff. What happened because of COVID is that the season ended uh, at the beginning of August, I think, and started again in mid-August. There was no break. And and it, it's affecting the players too because – you can see the fatigue really sudden and the, the level of players kind of dropped. But also it's affected me because I'm like, I didn't have time to really like get away from it. And they yeah. have games like almost like twice a week. I'm like, ah, you know, so I've kind of drawn away from that. I, I will say, I think that's the reason why the NFL hasn't really been affected because it started on schedule. Stayed on the same schedule. Minus yeah. the preseason, yeah. right? But it yeah. started on schedule. So, and- um, sorry. So, so your, your question was, um, what am I looking for, um, for to sports world? Um, no, well, I will keep it Falcons related because we do talk a lot about Falcons. I, I am very hesitant to be gung ho about drafting like a Justin Fields to stash him. Um, I'm not one of those who, who believes Matt Ryan is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, but I'm also definitely not one of those who thinks he's the reason we're every bit as bad as we are, or like, you know, I, I think he's a serviceable quarterback. He probably isn't a good enough quarterback to win us a Super Bowl, which is the goal, right? Um, I think he's a good enough quarterback to get us back to the playoffs, and we just need the right pieces around him. Though I will say, if if we end up getting fields like drop into us, we probably should get him. Just because you don't want to say, oh, I want to get the best position right now. Let Fields go to another team. And then Fields end up, ends up becoming a Hall of Fame quarterback, <laughs> right? Um, so I would take Fields, stash him. Um, and then if Ryan Fs up, bring in Fields. Um, but what I'm looking forward to is a really good draft. Yeah, a really good draft and just like a, a change of culture where we value winning again. Okay. All right. So, uh, so for me... I'm, I'm going to stick with the Falcons because obviously we've established that that's really the only thing I really know about. Um, even though even though my, my next one is going to be in relation to every sport. But uh, honestly, I want to – I'm the, it, this is going to be more recent. But I want to see the direction that the club is going to go in regards to who they hire as a general manager. And we'll touch more of this on the sports section. Who they who they hire as the general manager? Where which way do they go? Um, in regards to, I don't want a blow up of the team. Mm-hmm. 
because the blow up of the team automatically gives them two years of being able to suck, right? Like there's always that. That's two years of passing. leeway, yeah. And then not only that, but then a lot of times clubs get so antsy that they want to move on after two years of like, oh, this isn't working out, and then you become the Cleveland Browns, the Buffalo Bills, the Jets, stuck in purgatory for a good 10, 15 years, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that that's not the direction you want to go. Because, guys, Cleveland Browns barely joined. They finally made the playoffs for the yes, first time in 2002. A big, that's a big deal. I'm actually – I'm really happy for them, to be honest, because – I am, too. Uh, I'm not I'm, uh, uh, – my friend – one of my best friends does not like Baker Mayfield. He thinks he's a douche. I get it. Um, I, I thought that when he was in college, too. Uh, I, I, I always got this feeling that – yeah, yeah he's but, got this but, but as far as the club overall, Cleveland Browns, I actually am I'm, them on the actually, you know what would be great? I don't think it could happen though. Cleveland Browns versus Buffalo Bills in the NFC cha- AFC championship. That can't happen, right? Uh I I don't know. I don't have the like the actual Pittsburgh, bracket Pittsburgh from... is facing the Browns. Pittsburgh is three, Bills. right? They're Pittsburgh. three and yeah, they're so, three, so the Browns three versus five. six. Oh, it could happen actually. Yeah, it's it's three versus three versus six. You're right. No, it could happen. It could happen because if the Browns won, they go to two. Three v seven, three v six, four v five. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that actually could happen. So that actually, be, to me, that would be crazy right. if the Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns go to the AFC Championship. It won't happen. That's not my resolution. <laughs> so don't think it is. But so, uh, so so if the Browns beat the Steelers, the they go Bills, to the, they go to the Chiefs. The Bills beat um, the Colts and. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the Bills would play. Who if the no. four, if the fourth seed wins? The, if the fourth seed wins. No, because the the oh right 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 because because the Browns would play the Chiefs. That's that's what yeah. it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So whoever's the fourth. So if the seventh seed wins, then that completely ruins my possibility. But it would be no amazing. no no. If if the seventh seed wins, it would be against the Bills. So the Bills would have lost. Yeah. Seven and, would go to the Chiefs. Because the Chiefs is number one overall. The seven is playing the Bills. So the Bills will lose. The Bills are Oh, you're two. right. Yeah. You're right. They are. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Anyways. So, pretty much, it, the Bills win and the, the yeah, yeah, no, no. Browns. So, the, it could the yeah. Chiefs and the Browns could face each other. And to me, that would actually be quite incredible but, if that would happen. So, there's literally no way they can face each other before the AFC Championship game. Yeah. There's no, no way. There's no way. No. There's. So, Nope, not There's at all. No way. So, yeah. so that'd yeah, be pretty. Browse and Bills. Um, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm. Opinion. I'm happy for them because I've only with, been following. Uh, huh. I was gonna say with Washington. <laughs> 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 Seven and nine. They go to so, the Super Bowl too. So uh, I've I've only been following football. I'd say I've I've been following football since like maybe 2005. I've been following it like religiously since like 2000. 10. So we're in, not that far behind. Yeah. So in the time that I've been following it, the Browns have been the laughing stock of the league the yeah. entire time I've been following it. So and, 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 and the Jets were slowly becoming part of that. And then they finally settled into it. The mm-hmm. Bills were too. The Bills for the longest time were the, as far as I was watching football for the longest time, I had never seen the, I don't think I'd seen the Bills with a winning season, yeah. you know, or that I paid attention to. So yeah. So. This, that's incredible, right? But I hope that doesn't happen. I really don't. I, no, don't, I don't think, think blowing so. it up is a good idea. Honestly, what I want to see is, remember, we did the top five of what the, the direction of the Falcons, right? Honestly, I would love to see them basically get a GM. I really would love the Chiefs offensive coordinator as the head coach. Hmm. But I don't even think they've requested an interview with him. No, I thought they did. Did I, they? I, I thought that was one of the things I saw. Yeah, but we're we're actually funny enough. We're being closely tied to uh, Eric Binami and Joe Brady with the Panthers. No, not Joe Brady. No, no, Eric Eb. Oh uh, no, Eric Binami. But no, I know. I thought I saw that we also um, interviewed Joe Brady. They're interviewing a lot of people, which actually oh, okay. a lot of people want to put. Whenever you see it on Facebook, people put the angry emoji, and I'm like, yo, what is the problem with them interviewing? Yeah, countless amount of people. <laughs> so so i would I, I, honestly the, my biggest thing that i'm looking forward to before you go on, t- on the stand it uh, looks like you're about to go to uh my biggest thing that i want to see honestly is 
is getting a general manager and a head coach that basically give us a clear direction of where they want the club to go. Okay. Whether that's drafting a, a quarterback behind. If uh, forget, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name because he's Samoan, I think. Pinay Sewell. Mm. Pinay Sewell. I, I don't know how to pronounce it either. Uh, but yeah. Either way, he's an offensive offensive uh, lineman. He's one of those offensive linemen that you know is going to be taken in the top five. I know offensive li- offense offensive lineman is never a sexy a sexy Position. pick, mm-hmm. but he is one of those guys that gets drafted like Alex. He got, he's got the same award that Alec Mack got. So Alex Mack was drafted in the top 10, I think by the Browns. Um, other, if you go through all the offensive tackles and look at them, those guys are always studs. Offensive tackle is one of those positions that just never get our offensive. Is he offensive tackle? I think it's offensive tackle. Uh, either way, it's never a sexy pick, but honestly, it's one of those picks that you get. A lot of people shit on Jake Matthews, but the thing is, my thing is, how often do you hear Jay Mackey? Jake, obviously, he did that one horrible call in the Super Bowl, right? But how often do you really hear him being a nuisance or a problem? Yeah, I always hear him ranked highly. And then, I, yeah, I don't really hear much negatives about him. I feel like he gets negatives amongst Falcons fans. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like generally in the news, whenever, you know, when they're doing all these national games and then they're talking about players, they're always talking so highly about Jake Matthews. Now, it could be because he is like a legacy, you know, where his father played and his cousin plays. On. It could, that could be why they keep talking. Nice but him being him. a legacy would actually make it harder for him. No, oh, having to live up to certain. Yeah, because he has a, he has a, a a different threshold that somebody who nobody's ever heard of their family members, he has a higher bar to uh, to uphold, right? Because his dad yeah. is a is a hall of famer, yeah. or uncle is a hall of famer. So, no, his dad. Anyway. His dad. Is that okay? Yeah, Jake Matthews uh, Jr. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So anyway, that honestly is like to me is one of the big things. I just want to see a general manager that comes in, gets hired, and then he gives us a clear idea of what it is. Whichever direction they want the club to go. I was going to say, um, I was just thinking about it, about the Joe Brady thing again. Um, I, I get that he was highly touted after LSU won the championship. Um, and then, you know, he went to the Panthers as... He's the OC, right? In the yeah. Panthers? The Panthers didn't do that well. Why are they looking at Joe Brady? Um, it's not like um, Bridgewater, like... Was it Bridgewater? No, who's was the... This is Bridgewater, oh, right? uh, Bridgewater, yeah. Yeah, it's not like Bridgewater like had an MVP type season or like what I don't I don't get it. Like why is Joe okay. Brady being interviewed? I really didn't want to go into this, but screw it. Where's easy talk? It's easier, it seems, and even in football, for a white coach to get looked at much faster based off minimal proof than it would be for a black coach i.e look at eric being me minimal proof no but but this minimal proof would be he was only there one season and he got them to a 12 and 4 record you know on offense or whatever so we can say that can he do this over the course of many seasons we don't know that would be minimal proof this is their one season and they only had what five wins There's, There's no, no proof. Yeah. Flashes, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Saying. And then that's why at the very, remember the very first opening game, they were talking about Eric Benemy and they were like, the, the players was like, we don't know why this guy didn't get a head coaching job. He didn't even get an interview last year. Yeah. Wow. So and look, it, it's, it's still, it, the, a boys club doesn't mean all boys. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I think um, part of it too, um, just before we move on, is that McVay, the McVay effect? No, no. I, I think part of it is that they feel like, yes, um, Kansas City's offense is as good as it is, but they also have Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, like, and can, Andy Reid is the one playing calling the play. Yeah. So can which the enemy I do kind that? Of agree with, but I still think he has an he has yeah. some greatness that he could teach, yeah. but. I still prefer uh, the ball. The, the crazy so. stuff that Mahomes does and getting it to super fast hill and, you know, doing the left-handed stuff and all that stuff. Look, the enemy do that with Matt Ryan. Patrick and Mahomes it. would make freaking Dirt Cutter look like he was the freaking exactly. McVay. And, 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 and I think that's probably kind of what hurts the enemy. The fact that they're like, well, he's doing all that, but 
Yeah, go oh, I get that, but still, the fact lack of interviews that that's still yeah. significant that you didn't get any yeah. interviews after winning a Super Bowl or while you were on a Super Bowl run or whatever. But anyways, but yeah, that's that's mine is just to see the direction of the Falcons. Uh, great conversation on regards to these coaches. That's actually something we probably will be talking about because that's what's going on right now, right? There's the head coaching the carousel open, opening now and then that the, now that the regular season is um is is ended. So before we go into sports, like completely, number five, resolutionary question. What, post-COVID, what are you looking forward to post-COVID with hopefully this vaccine causes it to all of a sudden start to curve? We get, let's just say, let's just say in August. Is August still, yeah, August is still hot, right? Let's go with August. August, everything's back to normal. Obviously it's not going back to normal, but, but it's really more beyond August, but Let's say August, everything's finally back to normal. You're safe to go carry on, do what you do. They say you don't even have to wear face masks. That's how good it's gotten all of a sudden. Mm. What are you looking forward to? Well, August 31st you- is my birthday. So, um, how was your birthday? August 31st. Oh, 31st. Okay. Because yeah. mine's on the 19th. Oh, hey, Leo, okay. baby. I'm, Leo. A, I'm a Virgo. Oh, man. <laughs> But that's my why dad's, our personalities are the way they are. My dad's a Leo. Um, okay. So um, I would probably throw a big party, a, a legit housewarming party, actually. Um, <laughs> a year in. A year in. <laughs> a rewarming. Um, so, no, like, for real, I, the the biggest thing has been the lack of, like, outings and stuff. I'm, I'm, I've, gone, I've gone out a little, you know, lately. But generally... For for good reason, a lot of my friends are like, you know, hey, I don't want to be in the close pro- close proximity to all these people and all that stuff, you know. So so the social you know, aspect is like really gone down, but we mm-hmm. still keep in touch, you know, WhatsApp and you know, the occasional Zoom call. This is a Zoom call, um, but yeah, the podcast. Um, but yeah, just being out there again. Um, I don't I don't think. I will be going to any Braves games until much later in the year and until, you know, everything has settled down. Um, just because as much as I miss being in the, the live atmosphere, I want to be there safe. So um, I, I look forward to being able to go back to those in Atlanta United. It's, it's really just getting back out there. That's, that's my yeah. thing. Same, th- same thing, um, except with mine, it's... I really, really do hope that by football season, um, one thing that I was going to do was, so people who don't know me, um, so my, me and my father lost contact when I moved to Georgia. So that was around like five. I guess that's not really us losing contact, right? That's just, <laughs> I didn't lose the contact because obviously I had so, only so much control over it. But, you know, various things happened that uh, just caused me to, uh, him to lose touch with me. Uh, we got in contact again in 14, lost contact again two years later or whatever, right? And then finally, uh, right before I got married, we got in contact again, you know. Uh, just to, I guess you kind of know what kind of person I am. He called me. He originally texted me, and I, and my mom actually said, you know, he texted you, and I told her, I told him, and I, don't, I didn't want to get too deep, but I told her, look, if my dad wants to reach out to me, that's cool. I'm not angry because I don't know if you agree with me, Obviously, I know you don't really have daddy issues in that in that sense because um, you guys are really close or whatever. But eventually, you become too old to be having daddy issues. You know what I mean? After a mm. while, after a certain threshold, they're no longer daddy issues. They're just your issues. Right. So, so you know, I told I told her I was like, look, I don't have any issues with him. I'm not angry at him or whatever. You did a great job. You raised me perfectly. Well, you know, I'm, I came out good. But if he's gonna reach out to me, he's not gonna reach out to me th- through text or mm-hmm. Facebook. Yeah. I need him to call me. Call me right before my wedding. We got, you know, we went over to Texas because he lives in Dallas. We went over to Dallas, you know, hung out, whatever, you know, talked, you know, talked it out. He gave me some, a little bit more insight on that, made it a lot clearer for me. It was basically adults. I mean, humans being humans. And I was one of the casualties in regards to them acting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Them acting a certain way. So, um, so one big thing that I was looking forward to this year is because we've only gotten to see each other a few times because it's Texas and, you know, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a distance. One thing that we were looking forward to this year at the very beginning of the year was the Falcons-Dallas Cowboys game in Dallas. I'm mm-hmm. very happy I didn't go uh, for obvious reasons if anybody remembers Oh, uh, yeah, 40-39. <laughs> but 
we were looking for, I was looking forward to him. One, he was going to buy the tickets, which was awesome. Uh, and I was going to go watch the Cowboys play in, in Jerry World. You know, that was going to be cool. Because uh, I heard that's one of those places, that's one of the places that you want to watch a sporting event. Um, so we were going to go, we were going to go. And of course it didn't turn out. But then thankfully the way the, the scheduling formula turned out this year. They're playing here? They're, no, they're playing there. They're still oh, playing, they're playing, they're playing again, again okay. in Dallas. Yeah, so okay. hopefully things normalize. We'll be able to go because that's really just a fun event I like to do. You know, get to take the kids over there. Uh, my kids ain't going to the game because you know what? It's going to be my, he's my daddy, okay? So, you know, <laughs> I want to hang out with my pops. But definitely that's something that I look forward to. Just stuff like that, honestly, just because yeah. it, it really is fun. But I don't know if you're going to, if how normal it will be because when you look at movies and you look at for previous sports events, you look at like, yo, man, those people really aren't practicing social distancing right now. So oh. I don't know. <laughs> right, right. When they say that um, we're back to half capacity and you see them on the cameras and stuff, you're like, <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah, there's nothing like going that. on there. So it just depends yeah. on how that works out. But honestly, just the slow, the slow going back to normalization in regards to people being able to do events. Cause just going to restaurants alone or whatever, yeah. you know. Um, I still think we should keep the face mask thing going on for as long as we can. Yeah, I, I think we should still take precautions, still be vigilant. But, no, I mean, yeah, even if when can, COVID is finally alleviated, like, yeah. let's just make it normal for people to wear face masks. Well, why not? You know, at least <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how many people want to do that. Um, yeah. But um, what you said just reminded me of something. So when I was at uh, UGA, we had a four person apartment um, and three of us, three of the four of us went to Marietta High School. And then one was like a friend that. Um, I made over there and the four of us generally try to keep in touch you know as much as possible and the one the friend that I made over there he and his actually no I, I did see him after that I saw him after his wedding but he and his wife um uh they got well she got pregnant <laughs> um uh, she got pregnant, and you know, we're, we're all looking forward to it. Like, Listen, whenever it's a married couple, I say they because they when, we, when Kathy, when my wife got pregnant, I always said we're pregnant. Yeah, so we were looking forward to to seeing them and seeing that baby. And then um, another one of the roommates, um, the one that lives uh, here, the one's married to high school, uh, his wife got pregnant as well. And the uh, this one's wife gave birth in July. The, the one, um, the first one, his wife gave birth in March. And this is right when all that stuff started. And we, we, we had made plans to go, you know, see them, see the newborn, never got to do it. Um, yeah. His wife is actually having another one, like very close proximity. So they, they're gonna have their second child, I think in like a week before their first child turns one. So that means, my friend will have had two babies in that during that whole pandemic time, and we won't have been able to see either one till all of this is done. Well, at least he stayed busy. <laughs> yeah, at least he did. Yeah. So, so within our um, apartment group or whatever, there's not there's going to be three babies now. Uh, I have seen one. I've seen the one that lives you know, uh, nearby. Um, so just being able to get back into that with, without the worry of like bringing COVID around the new yeah. and all that stuff. That's yeah. looking forward to that. Cool. All right. There we go. Top five. Uh, top five. Top res five resolutionary. No, resolutionary top five. Resolutionary top five. So strange. <laughs> all 